Hey guys, today's video is gonna be a recap video about what we've been up to at Quail House. We've made a lot of changes to the house, we've had a lot of things happen, and today I'm gonna to walk you through that. I'm probably gonna break this video into three different parts so you don't have to watch one crazy long video. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we did was change out a fixture in our kitchen, and I wanna show you what that looks like and show you a little clip of us putting it in, and we were just so excited. First off, gray. Yeah. From oh. this. <laughs> All right, so this is the light we switched it out with. We're really happy with it. It's a little smaller than I think I pictured. So we'll see what it looks like once we get the cabinets and everything painted. Um, we're doing dealing with a little um, leak. And so these are gonna be repaired in a few days. But anyway, so we'll see how it looks once everything's painted, but so far we like it a lot better than what was here before. All right, next up, we noticed that our stairway was super dark because it had a solid wood door um, looking down at our property. I'll show you in just a second. But we switched it out with a glass door, and I'll show you a little footage of that. We switched off this door. Right, this last one? Yeah. 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 So we can see the view a lot better. So this is a stairway that was completely black because that door was a solid door. So this is the door we replaced. Replacing a door is really easy. You just wanna make sure your door is the same size and then you'll just take off the screws and replace it and it should fit fine. So we're gonna paint the door all black. Um, so it'll have a little accent of black and look really pretty. And this was an unpainted door, so we haven't added it. And I'll probably add a different handle. But anyway, so far we're, we are just so impressed by what a difference one door can make. And I'm already looking around the house like, what else can I replace with an all glass door? But actually our front doors have glass, our side door has glass, so I think we're covered now. Right after we moved in, we realized we had five and a half acres of lawn that needed to be mowed. So we had a blast test driving and bringing our new lawnmower home. Hey guys, look what's here. Let me show you. Watch out for Juvie. Yeah. Also, if there's any um, girls out there that drive this and mow their lawns, let me know. I would love to know, like, am I crazy to be intimidated by this thing or is this something I can totally do myself? I'm not sure. It was pretty fun for everyone in the house to ride on the lawnmower and it kind of became almost like a transport me method of transportation from the house to the barn and back. So it was really fun. Okay, the first animals on the farm were barn kittens. We have been planning this for so long and actually we considered getting a kitten at our last house because we had so many voles in our yard and we thought maybe it would help. I don't know if it actually would, but that was our thinking. Um, so the kittens were the first purchase that we made on the property and we were so excited. We bought them from a lady who her cat had accidentally gotten pregnant with kittens. And so she had tons and tons of kittens and they were just living on her porch. They were all outdoors. She'd already trained them to go in a litter box. They were kind of used to being outside and hunting a little bit. They were super little, so not, not hunting that much. Um, but you know, just kind of used to being outside, which is what we exactly what we wanted. So we went and purchased the barn cats, and here's a little footage of after we brought them home and just kind of what happened with them. There's Playboy. Right? Check out the newest members of the Quail family. Finn, Bella, and Rosie. is Bella and this one is Rosie. They 
are the cutest little things ever. You having fun, Beck? Uh huh. You haven't left their side since 10 o'clock this morning. Really? <laughs> yep. covered screened in porch and we thought this would be a good place for them they had previously slept on a porch in their and in, in their home so we thought that would be a great place but then they started climbing the screens and we were worried they were gonna rip them um, so while we know they were supposed to be barn cats we didn't feel comfortable leaving them up there because they were so tiny so then we moved them into a room in the house that was right next to the screened in porch and we did that for a few weeks and then we decided all right we got to be brave and take these cute little kitties up to the barn. So we took them up to the barn. Um, we would take them there at night and then leave them near us during the day and let them play outside and do all of that. So they were up at the barn their second night and the next morning we came up to get them and one of our cats, Bella, had cuts and like some bite marks on her and she was bleeding a little bit. Nothing like, I'm making it sound so dramatic. Just a few little minor wounds and we had been watching our cats for I don't know a month and a half by now and they'd never done that to each other so we knew it wasn't something that they did to each other we knew some kind of critter had gotten them we weren't sure if a raccoon was getting in or how an animal was getting in but we knew an animal was getting in and that they weren't safe and with them being so little and not able to defend themselves, we knew we needed to bring them back home. So we ended up making them, it started getting cold by this point, we ended up making them a room in the laundry room. This is how the cats feel about Juvie. Oh. <laughs> so while they were temporarily sleeping in our laundry room, <laughs> We um, went up to the barn and Bill found where the animal was getting in and it was climbing up a wall and entering the barn like through this entry near the roof. So we were determined to figure out what animal was attacking our cats. So my boys planned a stakeout and they got all their sleeping bags. Um, I think they brought one cat with them and we set up the tent inside the barn and here's some footage from that. To the barn for the big camp out stakeout. Stakeout? Yeah, catch the critter. <laughs> Will there be steak? Are you guys excited? Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Camping inside <laughs> the barn. <laughs> setting it up, I was like, wow, this is cool. So he went up and built wood and blocked it all off so no animals can get in. But we still were perplexed about what animal was getting them until one day when we let the kitties out at dusk, um, we heard like this weird meowing sound and one of the cats was there like growling at them and it dawned on us that it might have been another cat. And And then the kids were playing up in the barn and left one of the doors open one night. And we went up there to check and there were, sure enough, two cats making a home in there. So we think two cats had made a home previously in the barn before we were here. And they were sleeping in the barn and anytime our kittens were in there, they were like acting territorial. We still to this day have to deal with these two cats. While we've secured the barn and there's no way for them to get into the barn, I think they're sleeping under the barn. There's a couple little holes, but every now and again when our cats are out at night, they'll get scratched or we'll hear 
brawling from the cats as they fight it out. So <laughs> we're still dealing with that, but we would like to get them moved to the barn permanently as it warms up, but we had temperatures down to negative 16 degrees and our barn isn't made for that. Our houses in Arkansas aren't made for that. In fact, I heard that it was the cold coldest recorded temperature ever in Arkansas. It's typically like 20 or 30 at the lowest, like in the winter, at least since I've been here. So to have negative 16 was just insane and it wouldn't have been safe for our cats to be there, let alone pipes, everything. People had so many issues. So anyway, the cats will be moving up soon because it's starting to warm up again and it's just hard. We love them. We've fallen absolutely in love with them. We never imagined that. We've always been dog people and cats are awesome too. So anyway, Currently, they're big, healthy, happy, loving life here outside and kind of roaming around the house during the day. And then they sleep in the laundry room at night and then hopefully we'll be moving them up to the barn permanently, if we can do it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, all of the rest of our updates will be put in the next two videos and I hope you have a great day.